how's it going? We're uh, rugged up in a nice warm hut, fire going, gear drying out. Um, drove up from down south today to Canterbury, uh, a couple of hours up a river. Threw the packs on, another couple of three hours of packs on up to the hut. Got here in the dark and just had some dinner and uh, had a cup of tea. Go to bed and we'll get up in the morning and uh, go looking for some tar. So we're only here till Sunday. We've got uh, two nights, pretty much a good day and a half to have a poke around. So we'll see what happens. Have a bit of stuff, mate. Scotty a bull each if we can, but um, see what happens. He's uh, already seen a couple of young ones, so the day's looking promising. Probably take an hour and a half to climb up into there to that snow, but whether you can get through that through that bluff system, What do you reckon? Do we go down, go down stream, get an idea of what that gorge looks like? I'm going to have a look. I haven't seen anything else around here with. another bull about 300 meters up this creek um, and we're heading up that way anyway we're going to go and see what he's like and have a crack at him looks like he's only got one horn but we'll find out when we get a bit closer we'll make our way up This little fork up under there. Once we get over the water fork, it looks pretty easy.
Oh, this shot, man. Good hit. Coming off the hill. Nice and greasy down through here. Don't fall, G. Get you on camera. not to fly came up the hill this morning and probably should have because we ended up having quite a good day and we saw um, a few tar and a couple of shanty and, <coughs> and uh, both the boys shot a tar each a bull tar each so that's quite cool um, so we're gonna have to go back up there in the morning and uh, find them so not enough time to get up there today, unfortunately. We're running out of daylight and... Find the boys' balls at the shop yesterday. Raining all night. There's no water in this yesterday. Just goes to show you how much um, water can come off the hill with a couple of hours of rain. Coming up, G. Is there room for me? Here, bro. If you make it, I'll fuck it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scotty was the first tar. Yeah. Retrieved it. Full tar. I'm hooked now. <laughs> <laughs> Once the body can get over it, I'm hooked. Yeah. Pretty neat. Pretty cool animal. Pretty awesome country. Lovely smell. Hmm. <laughs> Wicked skin on them. Love that smell. Oh. We're dreaming about them all night. Yeah, I'm pleased we got to them. Yeah. Here comes Scott with his load of skin. Bull tar. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, we're just on our way out. Um, got up the river this morning and Managed to get Scotty's bull, his first bull, and uh, had a nice skin on it, and uh, went, a, went a tad over 12 inches, so he's pretty ripped. And unfortunately, we couldn't get to Glenn's bull; it got caught up on um, a ledge on top of a sheer bluff. We couldn't see exactly where it was, but we there was no way we were going to get to it, so we just had to bail out of there. Um, saw a couple more tar today, which. Uh, Always keeps things interesting and yeah, sorted out Glee, uh, Scotty's one and we're just going to head out the uh, another hour and a half back down the valley and uh, then about a three hour walk to the truck. We should be out before dark. All things going well. Thank you. 